Canik TP9SF. If you want to learn more about this gun, don't go away. Okay, so real quick, I do want to show you the carrying case that this comes in. I don't usually do uh, out-of-the-box reviews and stuff like that, but for the price point of this gun and what you're getting with the case and everything inside, I think it is something of note. So the box is a plastic box. It's got Canik Superior Handguns printed on the outside of it. Um, you do get quite a bit in this for what you pay. So as soon as you open it up, you've got your literature right here. You've got a brush, a cleaning rod, you do get a back strap here. And then this kind of just folds up like that. Sorry about the other shooting that's going on in the background. I am at the range. Um, again, you've got Canik printed right here. And then it says superior handguns. And then as far as what comes in the box, you've obviously got your gun. You've got another magazine right here. You've got a little tag for quality controlled right here um, the magazine comes with a speed loader so that's a pretty cool touch just stick it down there push down the follower throw your mag your round in there and you keep doing that over and over and you get your mags loaded uh, it comes with a trigger lock in the box you put that in your your trigger well to lock it to make it safe it's got a chamber flag You've got an extra uh, pin here for the frame. And then of course you get a holster. The holster's not too bad. It's not a Kydex holster or anything like that. It's more of an injection molded. It, it is kind of soft, so it will, it will conform to your body. It's actually pretty comfortable. It's got a clip on either side to clip onto your belt or inside your pants. I mean, if it's not something you are super crazy about when you get it, you can definitely upgrade to something different later on. But just out of the box, it comes with a holster and it's really not that bad. Okay, so now the gun. So I'm going to go over some of the specs, you know, barrel length, the slide, slide length, sights, the grip, the trigger, the magazines. And we'll kind of get into the nitty gritty and find out about all the nice things about this gun and go from there. Okay, so let's talk about the Canik TP9SF a little bit. This is a gun made in Turkey, and in Turkey they pronounce the name of the gun Janik, J-A-N-I-K, but it's actually spelled C-A-N-I-K, and here in the United States we pronounce it Canik. Um, the slide has a Cerakote finish on it, so it's gonna be extremely tough to scratches and dings and stuff like that, and it's gonna be very very corrosion resistance and rust resistance. I apologize for the shooting going on in the background. I am at the range. Um, it also has what's called a QPQ underlayer, which is gonna add on the slide, I mean, a QPQ underlayer on the slide, which is gonna add a lot of corrosion resistance. Um, the sights are Warren sights, Warren tactical sights. Um, the rear is blacked out. The front just has a white dot on it. Um, before you guys freak out, I did clear the gun off camera. I don't typically do that on camera, but it is safe. Um, for all you safety Nazis out there that'll roast my ass if I don't go ahead and do it on camera, I guess I better do it. Um, the sights aren't too bad. Uh, they're easy to pick up when you're, when, you're, when you're shooting. The front sight is pretty big, as you can see, so it does take up a lot of the target. Um, if you are a little bit far away, you know, 25 yards or more, you're not going to be able to see like a can or a bottle or something like that. But they are nice sights. Um, it does have a cold hammer forged barrel. The barrel is four and a half inches long. Uh, I measured him with a dial caliber off camera. I didn't want to bore you guys by pulling the gun apart and getting the caliper out and measuring everything. It does have a chambered round indicator on the top, which is kind of nice. Uh, I could take that or leave that. I don't really need that, but... 
for some of you out there that like that, it does have it. So it, it, does, it is a feature that the gun comes with. It's kind of nice. Also, it does have a cock striker indicator. That way when, excuse me, that way when it is cocked, you get this red dot that shows up at the back. That way when you're presenting out, you can see it. That way you know that you do have it, uh, that the striker is cocked and the chambered round indicator will let you know that there is something in the chamber. It does have a 1913 Picatinny rail. It's a three, three notch. Uh, so it's nice and big. It's got a lot of real estate on there. You're going to be able to fit all kinds of lasers, lights, chainsaws, flamethrowers, all that kind of cool shit on there. Let's talk about the magazine real quick. It is pretty nice. It's not. It doesn't get in the way when you're shooting. It's not in the way. It doesn't dig into your hand. Um, it's not ambidextrous, but it is reversible. You can put it on the other side. The slide release. The slide release is pretty flush to the side of the frame. It doesn't stick out very far, but it is pretty easy to get your thumb up there around the side of the slide and let the slide go forward. Ergonomics are really nice. It's got some pyramid textures here on the back strap, and then it's got some squares on the front of that. And then on the sides, it's just kind of got the, a stippling job on it. And it does feel nice in the hand as far as the grip goes, the ergonomics, the size of the grip is actually pretty nice. And it does have removable back straps. This is the standard one that comes on it. I haven't had to need to, I haven't had the need to switch it out or anything like that. So I'm just running running the same one that it came with. The trigger guard does have a little bit of serrations on the front in case you like to, with your support hand, wrap around, put your index finger on the front there to help control recoil. Um, let's see, talk about mags. The mags comes with two 18 round magazines. They are a steel mag, very nice quality. Um, they are mech gar mags. For those of you that are familiar with those, you know those are extremely good mags. Those of you that aren't, you should look them up there. They're nice mags. Okay, so the holster that it comes with is not too bad. Again, it's a, it's a pretty decent holster. It's pretty flexible, so that way it will contour to your side a little bit. Uh, it's not kydex or anything like that. I think it's more of an injection molded type of thing. Um, but it does it does retain the pistol pretty good where the trigger guard is the magazine is a little bit indented that way it can re help retain the gun so it's not really going to go anywhere I was a little bit nervous about it falling out but it's not too bad I guess if you're upside down being shaken by a giant or the Hulk or something it's going to fall out but other than that it's not too bad at all uh the gun does not have a magazine safety, so it will fire without the magazine in it. And it says it on that little panel right there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it will fire without the magazine. As far as safety goes, all it has is this trigger blade safety. If you don't depress that trigger blade, you cannot fire the gun. You have to depress the trigger blade and the gun will fire. Okay, so let's talk about probably the best feature of this gun, and that is the trigger. This thing, for the money, has an unbelievable trigger on it. It's probably one of the best striker-fired guns I have fired as far as the trigger goes. So, you've got a little bit of take-up right there. Nothing major. You hit a wall. A little bit. Well, no, that's not even the wall. you got a little bit of take-up. You get a little bit of resistance here, and then you hit the wall, and then there's the brake. And then check this reset out. Right there, that is it. Very nice trigger, very short reset. This is an extremely fast gun. If you, if you do your part and you put in the trigger time, you can really get fast with this gun and shoot quick with it. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other specifications that I did off camera. Um, you know, the width of your gun from the widest point, which is gonna be from right here on the side of the frame where the slide release is to the other side, you're looking at one inch, 293,000. So just a, over an inch and a quarter in width, which is not, is not real bad. Um, it's a little wide, but 
nothing terrible. Again, your barrel length is four and a half inches. The overall length from the tip of the barrel to the back of the slide, back of the frame is seven inches, 518 thousandths, which is just over seven and a half inches. So it is a pretty long gun. This is your full size gun. This is not a compact. This is gonna be comparable to like your Glock 17 and stuff like that. And then the height from, well, I didn't even do it from the highest point. I guess I should have done it from the, the, the top of the sight, but I did it from the top of the slide right here to the bottom of the magazine and the height is five inches, 509,000. So just over five and a half inches. So it's, it's a good size gun. I mean, it's a big gun. Um, you could conceal carry it if you wanted to. It might be kind of hard to do that. Um, I don't conceal carry it. It's a little bit too big. Um, I'll show you. I'll show it to you right real quick. So your holster just clips into your belt loops or on the side of your pants like so. And then there it would be. I mean, so you could, I mean, you could, you could try to conceal carry it, but it's going to stick out. It's going to print on the magazine. So it's, it's a pretty good size gun. Um, we'll go over takedown real quick. Remove your mag, pull your trigger, pull back just a tiny bit on the slide. And then you've got a lug here and a lug here. Just pull it down. And there you are. You take your recoil spring out, your barrel. You've got your slide and then you've got your frame here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It uh, comes apart just like a Glock, basically. And that's pretty much it as far as the Canik TP9 goes, as far as all I can say about it. Um, let's go ahead and shoot it and see how it does. I won't bore you with a whole bunch of shots, but uh, we'll run a couple mags through it. Okay, so I'm back about eight yards. I'll hit the tree and the silhouette. We'll see how it does for accuracy. Okay, so this is 25 yards. I'm gonna shoot at that black silhouette that's just left of that white barrel. Uh, we'll see how it does here and then we'll go back to 50 and just see where we end up. Some misses. Let's back it up a little bit. Okay, so here's 50. Same target. It's getting a little hard to see in the camera, but I think we'll manage. Okay, again, some hits, some misses. We'll go back a little bit further. Okay, so this is 75 yards, and this is as far as I'll be able to go at this range, so we'll see what happens.
We just had our first malfunction. It didn't go all the way back into battery. That was a live round. That's the one that didn't go all the way in the battery. Not sure what happened there. Other than the fact that the bullet is crooked in the case. Looks like it didn't get reloaded all the way. Look at that. So, not a fault of the gun. More of an ammunition problem. So, not too bad. 75 yards. The gun is accurate if you do your part. I actually shot the little flipper off that was just to the left of the silhouette. It's on the ground now. Um, so... Mechanic TP9 SF. For the money, you cannot go wrong. You get a plastic case, you get a holster, you get two mags, you get extra back strap, you get a cleaning kit, all for what I paid $440. So you really can't beat that for what you're getting. There's a lot of guns that you can buy for the same kind of money that don't have near the features, or you're going to pay even a lot more for less features. So you really can't go wrong with it. Um, and that's pretty much it. I, you want a decent budget gun and have a lot of features go check out the canic tp9 sf anyway i hope you liked the video please hit that like button share subscribe and we will see you next time